All right, what's up, bringers? Uh, this is Travis with my bring back, and this is gonna be your third Java tutorial. Um, we won't get anything into anything too specific, but I kind of just want to show you the idea of what object-oriented programming is. Um, we have our starting class here, our starting point, which it has the main method. Uh, but the beauty of object-oriented programming is the objects, obviously. But what is an object? Well, think of it this way. Everything around you is an object right now. This glass of water you have, um, you know, your dog, whatever. We're going to just kind of use the, use the example of a dog. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our source and our default package. Just right click on it, go to new class. And what we're going to call this class, well, we're going to call it dog. And what we can do is kind of define what dog is and how we do that is we set up methods that the dog can do and how you set up a method is we're just gonna say void and then just something like bark and then parentheses and uh, then open bracket and this is where we'll define the bark method that the dog class can use so we're just gonna say something that you guys kind of recognize uh, system dot out dot print um, and it's just gonna say wolf now that's pretty lame but uh, yeah that's what it's gonna say obviously it's just gonna print out the wolf statement when it's called but first I want you guys to notice um, this is why I also kinda did these two classes here because when the compiler works it's gonna look for this main uh, main function or this main method um, so basically only one class can have the main method and that's what it's going to look for. So that's what this line kind of means. We'll kind of break down that as we go as well. I don't want you to get focused too much on it. But uh, so it's going to go to this main class first. And we're just going to delete everything we did the last tutorial. And instead of setting up like an integer variable or like, um, you know, a string variable, we're going to set up a dog variable. And how you do that? pretty much the same way. First we're going to define what the variable is. It's a dog. And then we're going to name it. So we're going to name it Jerome. So that's our dog's name. Um, and basically we what we want to do is set Jerome equal to something. Um, we're just going to say, and this might be confusing but we'll get into this later. We're just going to say he's a new dog. And uh, now we can tell Jerome to do some things. Like Jerome. And then just hit dot and Eclipse will pull up the methods that are available within Jerome. So far we've only defined one, which is bark. And then we're just going to hit the colon right there. And now when what's going to happen is the compiler is going to go to this class, um, the starting point, which at that point it's going to create a new dog, dog object, um, and it's going to create the new, uh, new dog out of it pretty much. And then it's going to use the bark method, which is all it is is just system print out so it's gonna print out the wolf um, so let's give it a go uh, we're just gonna save all the projects or all the classes and hit run and as you can see down here just the expected result so uh, we can also say like um, go into the dog class we can set up another method void like uh, fire hide fire um, no uh, let's see like dig yeah, that's something Jerome would do. Stupid dog. All right, so now the dig method is just going to say um, system dot out dot print, and it's going to say uh, um, it's just going to say what of what? It's just going to say what? Who knows what that means? I don't, but uh, that's basically what that method is. I just wanted to show you again, if we just run this, it uh, it just still has the wolf because it's not even recognizing this dig method. But uh, to like, you know, make a beatbox, hold on. I'm sorry, I just thought of something. We're gonna have to put a space after this, space after this for the example, um, even though it doesn't really matter. But we can say something like uh, Jerome in our main class, Jerome dot text message sorry dot dig and then the semicolon and then uh, Jerome 
dot dig. This is just kind of getting you familiar with object orientation and or object oriented programming and kind of what it's used for. So we basically created our own dog class and now when we run this it's just going to go bark dig dig um, which is woof wah wah and dog language. So hopefully uh, you guys kind of get what's going on. Obviously nothing's too specific here like you don't know what the new is or why this is dog with like parentheses there. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you the idea of object oriented programming and what an object is. Basically an object's everything like a dog. Um, I mean it's more detailed description than that but you can basically think of everything as an object. Um, and I hope that helped. See you guys later. Peace.